Every once in a while, you come across an app that almost changes everything. The design is unbelievable, the features are smart, and you find yourself thinking, wait, could this replace a tool I'm already using like Notion? That's exactly how I felt when I started using Craft. It's polished, it's fast, it's genuinely enjoyable to use. It's so close to being the perfect all-in-one productivity app. In this video, I'm breaking down what Craft absolutely nails and where I think there are still some nitpicky limitations, though there's one feature that I really miss that I wish Craft had. Welcome back to the Feel Productive channel. My name's Ez. Let's get into it. So when Craft first launched in 2019, its design philosophy was so different to anything else out there. I'd say it was the first note-taking app that really centered the experience as much on style as it did on substance. And that's great, because we all like making things look pretty. But compared to Notion at the time, it felt kind of limited. And it's come a long way since then with Craft 3.0, now packed full of cool features. Here's how the app is broken down. So you have a section for documents, a section for tasks, and a section for calendar. Within documents, you have lines of blocks where you can create pretty much any kind of content from text and images to embeds, checklists, all with seamless drag and drop flexibility. You can even create tasks directly within documents and they'll automatically appear in the tasks section of the app neatly linked to their original document, which means your documents can double as self-contained projects, combining notes, tasks, and context all in one place. There's also a calendar view, which as you'd expect syncs with your calendar, but also displays tasks due on specific days and lets you create a quick note. Quick notes are lightweight, day-specific notes designed to be temporary, perfect for jotting down ideas, reminders, or meeting notes that don't need long-term storage. Think of them as daily scratch pads that live on your timeline. And so between documents, tasks, and calendar view with quick notes, you have this life management system, which embeds many different aspects of productivity into one compelling customizable package. By the way, Craft have not told me what to say in this video. They are sponsoring, but haven't given me a script or seen the video prior to publishing. So in terms of the things that I really love, the design and the user experience really, really do stand out. And it feels like Apple Notes and Notion got together and had a baby. And I love Apple Notes and I love Notion, but Craft hits a sweet spot when it comes to how it feels to use. From the typography, to the white space, to the animations, it all just feels crispy. And the whole style option within each document that gives you such extensive control over how your document should look. Honestly, it can be quite distracting at times just because of how many cool options there are, but it does feel rewarding to make documents that stand out and ultimately makes readability of your documents and your notes easier. So it's not just an aesthetic thing. The iPad and the iPhone apps, by the way, are also brilliant and feel native to their respective platforms. Craft have done a lot around the user experience and you can really tell. I also love the offline first idea and the speed of the app as well. So in terms of offline mode, it allows users to view and edit documents even without an internet connection. So Craft stores all documents directly on your device, ensuring they're always accessible offline. And then any changes that you make while offline will automatically sync when your internet connection is restored. You also get offline AI features, which is massive. And I don't know of many other note-taking apps that offer this even on the free tier. I also love daily notes. As I mentioned before, they're tied to your calendar and it's such a killer feature because I think it speaks to most people's work habits. Yes, we want somewhere to store nice, pretty documents, but we also want somewhere to keep our scrappy, daily thoughts when we're in meetings and that type of thing. So the fact these are tied to days in the calendar is a great idea. I know Craft isn't the only platform to do this, but coming from Apple Notes, it's a really nice experience. You can also create templates to save yourself time if there's a particular document structure or format you commonly use. And Craft also offers a ton of ready-made templates as well. 
In terms of collaboration, you can create team spaces for you and your team to collaborate, add comments and work together. It's a brilliant tool for professional work. Craft offers a viable alternative with a similar experience to Notion or Google Docs. And if you've ever used those platforms for document collaboration before, you'll feel right at home with Craft, though you do have to pay extra for additional collaboration features. You can export your work in virtually any format, including Markdown, and publish them as web pages for others to view directly in their browsers. One other really killer feature is Readwise integration. This is relatively new and absolutely brilliant addition, if you ask me. By the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, please do hit the like button and subscribe for more tech and productivity content. I know you want to. Okay, so let's talk limitations and trade-offs. Now, a lot of stuff is understandably behind a paywall. The main limitation being that you have a content limit in terms of the number of blocks you can use before you have to move onto the plus tier, which is about $7.99 a month. So it's great to try and see if you like it, but you basically couldn't just use Craft for free with limited features as your main note-taking tool. The collections feature is very similar to databases in Notion, which is good, but it's far more limited than Notion's database, I would say. It's less complex, and that could also be a good thing, I would say, for most people. But if you're used to having different views of information, like a Kanban board or a calendar view, to see your data in a slightly different way, you can't do that here yet. And I would desperately miss the Kanban view if I moved my entire YouTube workflow into Craft. The task management side of things can do with a few more features too, such as tagging, prioritizing, maybe a bit more of a structured way to manage your tasks from a user experience perspective. Tasks are nested in documents and it can feel a bit unintuitive, let's say, to visualize everything you have in an easy to digest way. The one thing that really kind of gets me is the AI search that I'm so used to using in Notion. So the AI search would be a really great feature on here as well, because then you can truly use Craft as a modern day second brain tool where you can ask AI to put together all the knowledge you hold on a particular subject. I think that's the one thing that I pretty much totally embedded into my workflow these days. And the AI search querying that I use in Notion, it's a really cool way to tap into your knowledge base. And you can say stuff to it like, tell me what I know about happiness and how it relates to productivity. And it will come back to you with a coherent response based on you know all of the notes that are contained within Notion. So Craft, if you're listening, you know what to do. And actually, if you're listening, another incredible feature would be AI note recordings and automatic meeting summaries. So this is a relatively new feature in many apps and it would be incredibly valuable to have in Craft's ecosystem too. Incidentally, there is still a really good AI assistant within Craft that does all of the usual stuff you'd expect it to do these days, like improving your writing and changing the tone, etc. So initially I was using Craft as a place to write documents that others would see. Basically, I stopped using Google Docs whenever I had an important document to write and I just started using Craft instead. So things like invoices, my rate card, guides, manuals, pretty much anything that would eventually end up as a PDF would come from craft. And that was pretty much because of how well you can stand out when sharing documents using craft. People are always asking me where I created the PDF I just sent them because it looks so nice. But I've also now started using it to store my daily thoughts. All my daily notes and, and that type of thing basically go into the calendar view, which I always have open. And whenever thoughts or actions come from meetings, I pretty much just chuck it into there. And at the end of each day, I review what's in the note and see if there's anything that I need to extract to put elsewhere. Now, I don't yet use Craft as my task management tool. I'd love to because then you can pretty much keep everything in one place. I do create tasks off the back of daily notes, but then you can really easily import them into things free just by highlighting them. And I think there are still some missing things, like I said before, if you really wanna get a handle of your tasks inside of Craft. And that's okay because 
The idea that you have to use one tool to do everything is, well, it's becoming a bit tired. There's nothing wrong with keeping things separate. And sometimes that separation can bring order and streamline things. So it's okay to use different tools to do different things in your workflow. So in terms of the competition, I would say compared to Notion, Notion is still more powerful. It's more complex, but most people don't need that complexity or that power. Most people just want documents and notes and some tasks. And for that, I'd say Craft gives you a better experience. So overall, I'd say Craft is best for solo professionals, writers and planners, teams that value design and simplicity. And also if I was a student, I'd pretty much be all over Craft because you can pretty much get any type of media into this thing, including the whiteboarding, which I would find super useful to jot down and brainstorm my ideas. But what do you think? Do you pay for Craft? Let me know in the comments whether you use Craft or any other tool as a pure all-in-one. I'd love to know your system because I've yet to find something that to take me away from things free for task management, let's say Notion for really heavy database stuff, Craft for documentation and daily note taking now. I haven't found anything that kind of brings all of that together. And by the way, if you want to see some of those other second brain apps that I use, which help me manage two jobs at once, I'll leave a link to that video at the end of this one. I'll see you there.